what's going on guys welcome back to the channel um i'm trying my best to cheer myself up because um yesterday i was was a very sad day you know it was a sad day in the history of the world i would say i know you know plenty of people die every day but it's not every day you 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 um lose someone that means so much to the world in itself like even if you have never watched basketball your entire life you've heard about this guy you know what I'm, you know what i'm saying he was 41 you know what i'm saying kobe bryant man the mamba the black mamba you know, and if you guys have seen my video from yesterday, it, it caught me off guard, man. Till I really had to be questioning what's really going on. You know, and, you know, if I know anything about Kobe, and if I took anything from him, players talking about him, um, and stuff like that, it's, it's his worth ethic, his work ethic that really stands out for me. As he's inspired me over the years. As I said, I wasn't a fan of him on the basketball court. And that's not to say I didn't respect his game. It's just that he wasn't the guy I was rooting for. He was great. And it was sad when he was beating up on the teams that I wanted to beat um, the Lakers. You know, it's quite funny because now I'm a Laker fan. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. I'm a LeBron fan, okay? I'm a LeBron fan, so wherever LeBron goes, that's the, ch the team I root for. Um, so, but over the years for Kobe, um, you know, you know, um, like I love to watch him and Shaq play, but at the same time, man, you know what I'm saying? It's like you, you, you know, it'll give somebody else a chance. Man. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was that kind of thing with, with me and him. But man, the dude could play the game of basketball like no other man, and he was great. His legacy is one to be marveled at, and you know what I'm saying? Just to just to understand where he's coming from. But um, we. You know, his work ethic is is what made me say, you know what, let me get on with doing what I'm doing because the world is mourning right now. But, you know, we have to keep going. We have to push forward. I know for a fact that that's what he would be preaching, you know, because he's that type of guy. Just keep going. Just keep at it. You'll get there. Kobe's one of those guys that took a lot of people under his wings. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people had a lot to say, a lot of tributes, you know, um, but we have to keep going. We have to keep going. So with The Witcher, with what's going on right now, we st I still don't know if that if episode, what was it, four was a flashback. I, I still don't know. <laughs> we still don't know. It seems like everything is happening simultaneously, but... I'm guessing at some point they're going to have to explain what's really going on. If it's two different timelines, what what is happening? You know what I'm saying? So we're going to jump into it, man. Um, You know, last episode, um, dude that disguised himself. The, what's he what's he called? A doppelganger or whatever. Um, whatever they call the, the, the dude that transformed. They kill um, Mausak. I don't remember. <laughs> I think it's Mausak. Yeah, I think it's Mausak, right? I killed him, turned into him to go get Siri out of that forest that she was in. Um, Siri knows he can trust Mausak, but it's not really Mausak. So what's going to happen now? Um, I don't know. So we are going to go find out. Um, we finally get to see Geralt and Yennefer together. We know that they're a hot thing. So, um, they're already doing their thing. Um, so, um, me, I, I'm, I'm a, I love Yennefer. A lot of people say she's more beautiful, whether in the books, some people prefer the, um, the Yennefer in the game, whatever the situation is, is I, I, I don't care. She beautiful in the show. She beautiful in the video game. I don't care. Beautiful woman. 
okay? Jennifer is bae. So anyways, man, let's go watch this episode, and I will see you guys for the review. All right, so here we are. Episode 6, The Witcher. Beautiful episode, man. Beautifully done episode. Um, I know everybody's already shipped these two together, right? <laughs> Carol of Rivia and Yennefer of whatever she's from. <laughs> I don't remember. Of I don't remember. He says it. <laughs> I don't remember, but... Their chemistry on screen is something that I wanted to talk about. I wanted to pause and talk about it, but I said, no, nah, let me not. But their chemistry on screen is not an easy thing to do. And I, I keep stressing this over a lot of TV shows that I've watched both here and, you know, discuss with friends. I said, chemistry is not an easy thing. You can, it's not an easy thing to capture um chemistry between two people not only because it it's it has nothing to do with the camera or casting it has to do with the the two actors that come together and kill every scene that they're together in you get what i'm saying so they have to be it's a testament to their acting ability you know, and for the first time that I'm seeing this girl, I don't know what her name is because um, I haven't checked out what her real name is. I know that this is Henry Cavill. Um, let me see if I can find her name because maybe her name pops up during the the um, the outro here. Let me see. She should show up. Is her name Anya Kalotra? I'm pretty, that's probably her name. She looks like a Anya Kalocha. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, the name fits the face. It, this is probably her. Um, Anya Kalocha. That's probably her name. I'm, I'm not sure. But she's doing an amazing job. It's the first time I'm seeing her um, on screen in anything. So for her to, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with such a seasoned actor, unless she is a seasoned actor, I just never heard of her. But she's pretty young. So... If this is her first acting gig, she is knocking it out of the park, okay? So you guys can let me know her, her history, of course, in the comment section if you feel like doing so. I'm probably not going to remember to look it up by the time I react the next time. So I'm definitely feeling this episode, man. This episode was very heartfelt. Um, Him realizing that he's in love with her. And kind of trying to play it off and then come to terms with it. Her coming to terms with the fact that he's loving her. This whole golden dragon story with th this guy that can morph into a dragon and a human being. Which is, I've never heard of dragons being able to do that. So it's, so it's, um, I've, no, I've never read a story where dragons could, could that have that ability. I've never, this is probably like the first series or for anything book or tv show that i've seen where dragons can morph into human beings um so that that was crazy and also it seems like he have some sort of foresight also so that's pretty cool um so i like the mission i like what the mission stood for um we all know that even in the video game um um Killing a monster is never just always about killing a monster. There's always some sort of underlining meaning to what you're doing. So that's what makes, you know, a lot of people say that, you know, The Witcher 3, The Wa Hunt was like, you know, game of the decade, game of the year, or whatever the situation is, whatever awards that it got, well deservingly because um, all the extra stuff that you did, I'm not talking about the, the stuff that... <laughs> There are some stuff in that game, man, that I was like, this is just too much. Like the whole, 
the treasures in the in the sea and stuff like that you gotta go and dive under and look into these barrels for these treasures and stuff there was just way too many of that shit okay but for the missions that you actually go on you know for the most part most of them they had meaning to them you could choose to do certain things and sometimes you don't sometimes you can say okay i'm not gonna take any money for this because he's actually a witcher that protects monsters just as much as he'll kill them you get what i'm saying so if they don't mean no no harm if he knows how to interact with them you know what i'm saying like the monster that the the stupid overzealous dude killed i can't even call him a knight because he's he's too dumb to be a knight so the one that he killed you know girl said if you if you had just fed him he would have just went away you get what i'm saying so he knows these things and and you would be happy if everybody just listened to him because he's revered as a monster hunter you know what i'm saying so you know <sighs> that was just crazy to me but in any case um you know i'm glad that their that their love has developed to the point now where you know they had this huge argument at the at the end you know they were just throwing shots at each other that they didn't mean and they ended up like, you know, I re I remember, I remember in the video game, them having somewhat of a conversation, just like the one that just happened where, where she was talking about this, this gin that cursed them. And, and, and Geralt is saying, no, it's not because of that. Maybe it's something more, but she just being obsessed with this and saying, Oh, you made a wish. So we would fall in love and we can't get separated from each other. So she's trying to convince herself that it's actually magic that have her. So kind of, you know, quote unquote obsessed with, with Geralt, but it's really just both of them just having true love for each other. So, um, so it's you know um so i guess they maybe got that part from the from the books because they're reiterating it now in the show so that is part of their history for reals for reals so um the story is on series part you know with the with the, the dude the mouse sack she she actually did a great job of finding out um uh, figuring out who mouse that um the dude that was impersonated mouse act and then that dude impersonated siri to go back to this this dude now to go find out um what why does siri mean so much i guess he tied up siri he caught siri tied her up on a tree and left him to, left her to go confront them about what why am i you know what i'm saying like what does she really mean to them and they ended up fighting um, the doppelganger or whatever they call him, um, you know, the, the shadow clone jutsu dude, <laughs> you know, transformation jutsu out here, you know, just, just, just killing the game, <laughs> you know, so they f figure that out, find that out, but I don't know what series going to do now because Dara left her, she's by herself, so I don't know, is there's two more episodes to go, so um, I know by the end of the season, they should, you know, Geralt should find Ciri, um, hopefully, because if that doesn't happen, I mean, season two, episode one, maybe, I don't know, maybe they're going to find each other at the end of episode eight, I don't know, um, but I'm enjoying the journey, I'm enjoying what they have to go through to find each other, I don't know what's going to happen with Yennefer, with, with Yennefer uh, um, now, that she's on her own new journey every time she's on screen she's 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 a wonderful actress so i like to see her on screen i like to see her and Geralt um interact because their chemistry i think is the only person she has great chemistry with on screen and that's why i love to see them together so much in scenes because they, their dynamic is just so it's it just seems so natural and i love it, it just seems so natural man i i love both of them on screen so um i liked i liked the the conversations they they had before they took off to go to the 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 bridge walk of death you know um you know so i like that didn't expect them to come back at the end um the guy and the two girls that fell off i didn't expect them to come back at the end i, I really that should 
caught me off guard like a mug. But it happened. And it was good. The story was awesome. Protecting um, the egg. Awesome fighting scene. Um, they did a great job of not jump cutting too much around. Um, but, you know, you know how I hate jump cut fights. I hate that jump because it, it doesn't show anything, <laughs> you know. Um, but anyways. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to more. I'm definitely looking forward to more. See what they're going to happen. How they're going to wrap it up. But I'll catch you guys later, man. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like. Leave a comment in the comment section as always. Some of you guys really do need to leave a comment. Like, for real. Comments, likes, all that stuff helps the channel to grow. Help um, the YouTube algorithm to push the video more out to people who want to watch Witcher reactions. So, thank you guys so much. As always, subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace!